there's some events in life that really make you question whether fate itself is at work. What about the guy whose life came full circle when he ended up flying the same aircraft he dreamed of 20 years later? Or this incredible photobomb that brought two newlyweds together decades before they first met? Stay tuned for a whole host of jaw-dropping tales like these in this episode of One in a Million Coincidences You'll Have to See to Believe. A Sinking Feeling most people are scared of something, like spiders, clowns, or heights. But for Uruguayan businessman Ramon Artigavetia, the fear was boats. Mr. Artigavetia wasn't always so petrified. In fact, he was born into a family steeped in the history of the sea. Just before his grandfather died, he even gave Ramon's father a special oar which bore the inscription, Know how to use it. You will never be hungry. Your ancestors have always survived thanks to the sea. This is your destiny. Follow it. Flash forward to the 24th of December, 1871, and Ramon was aboard the ship America, which was racing another ship into the Montevideo Harbor when high boiler pressures led to a freak fire. Ramon jumped into the sea and swam for his life, becoming one of 65 people who survived the horrific accident out of 114 first class, 22nd class, and 30 popular class passengers. Many suffered terrible burns and the whole ordeal was enough to scare poor Ramon from setting foot on a boat for the next 41 years. After avoiding voyages at all costs, Ramon finally prepared to sail again for a special trip from Europe to the United States in 1912. In a letter he wrote, at last I will be able to travel and above all, I will be able to sleep calm. The sinking of the America was terrible. Nightmares kept tormenting me. Unfortunately, his bad luck hadn't quite passed, and on April 10, 1912, Mr. Artur Kavetia boarded the Titanic, soon becoming one of some 1,500 passengers who lost their lives during the historic sinking on the 14th of April. Turns out conquering your fears isn't always the right thing to do. Double Tree Somewhere between Granada and Piemonte in Italy grows a tree that is unlike any other. The strange tree is known as the Double Tree of Casorzo, and tours travel from far and wide just to marvel at the seemingly impossible feat of nature. What's so strange about it, you ask? Well, it isn't exactly a tree at all. It's two. The Double Tree is a mulberry tree which somehow boasts a fully formed cherry tree growing out the top without ever threatening to fall. Nobody knows for sure how this miraculous coincidence came to be, but the most popular theory is that a bird dropped a seed on the mulberry tree one day, which then grew roots through the hollow trunk of its host to reach the soil below. Although trees growing parasitically over another tree, otherwise known as epiphytical trees, are not particularly unusual, it's extraordinarily rare for one to reach the size and lifespan as the Casorzo specimen, making this one seriously kick-ass tree. One Wedding, Seven Funerals Everyone wants their wedding to be the perfect day, but when things don't quite go to plan, just remember this mind-blowing story. In 1867, Prince Armadeo of Savoy, the Duke of Aosta, wished to marry Italian noblewoman Maria Vittorio da Pozzo. Although King Victor Emmanuel II of Italy, the prince's father, disapproved initially on account of Maria's lower standing, he finally agreed to the marriage. The wedding took place on the 30th of May, 1867, but it was a day marred by tragedy. First, the officer leading the wedding concession from the palace to the church suffered sunstroke and collapsed. Then, when the palace gates failed to open, the gatekeeper was found also lifeless on the grounds nearby. Undeterred, the wedding continued, but the curse was far from finished. On the way to the railway station to leave for their honeymoon, the officer who drew up the marriage contract suffered a stroke and the anxious station manager fell under the wheels of the approaching bridal locomotive. By now, the king had decided enough was enough and ordered the bridal carriage to turn around. However, the Count of Castiglione, who was riding alongside the carriage, fell from his horse and underneath the carriage wheels, marking the seventh tragedy of the day. If there was ever a sign that maybe two people shouldn't be together, this cursed wedding would truly be it. Man, that really is some terrible luck. Do you guys believe in curses or just bad karma? Let me know your thoughts below and I'll reply to a few of you if you have any interesting stories to prove it. 
In the meantime, you can up your chances of staying on Karma's good side by giving that like and subscribe button a little love. Oh, and don't leave the bell icon out either. Don't blame me if things start going wrong though. I did try to warn you. A near miss. Back in 2004, a rock slide in the small village of Mundheim in western Norway sent two massive boulders tumbling down the mountainside, where the two largest rocks ground to a sudden halt either side of a picturesque house on the roadside. The house belonged to an 89-year-old woman named Sigrid Ugelhaus, who just so happened to be staying with her sons across the country at the time, and only heard about the freak event later on local news. Ugelhaus never returned to her home, but the boulders remained in place as a reminder of the remarkable coincidence. Although one of the rocks has been broken down over time for use as a building material, the largest boulder can still be seen in front of the abandoned house today. Now that's what I call a lucky escape. Case closed. Not every police investigation is wrapped up with a perfect bow, and sometimes the authorities manage to get things horribly wrong. Just ask Juan Catalan. Although he'd been to several memorable games at Dodger Stadium as a child, none would have such an impact as his outing to see the LA Dodgers on May 12, 2003. Not only did Catalan snag tickets at the very last minute, but this would also be the game that would save his life. Three months after the game, Catalan's world was turned upside down when he was arrested for a crime he didn't commit. Catalan had an alibi, considering he was 20 miles away at the Dodgers game with his daughter Melissa that day, but that wasn't enough for the no-nonsense prosecutor. All hope wasn't lost yet though, and Catalan's defense lawyer vowed to sift through internal camera footage at Dodger Stadium in the hopes of finding a trace of his client. But the search turned up nothing. That's when Catalan had a light bulb moment and he suddenly remembered that he'd seen a camera crew filming in his section of the ballpark that night for comedian Larry David's TV show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. As expected, Catalan in his number 27 Kevin Brown shirt could be seen walking back to his seats with his young daughter in one of the grainy frames, and he was acquitted of the crime. What's even more amazing is that Catalan also recalled how they had initially been stopped by a PA so they didn't interrupt filming but for some reason they had a change of heart and let the father and daughter walk back to their seats. Can you imagine what would have happened had Melissa not asked for a snack that day? Photobomb Fate Whether you're a believer in fate or not, this romantic little coincidence is enough to melt even the coldest of hearts. While rifling through old photos in 2018, Reddit user PCS Boar happened upon this photograph of his cousin, the loner on the left which was taken during a trip to Pau de Azucar in Rio de Janeiro in 1985. You might be thinking the poor dude just wasn't in the mood for a photo shoot that day, but he's not actually a part of the family. Or at least he wasn't at the time. You see, PCS Boar's cousin just so happened to be at Pau de Azucar on that day, completely unaware that he would end up accidentally photobombing his future wife's vacation snap. To make things even crazier, this photograph was taken seven whole years before the pair first met. Can you imagine the loved up couple's surprise when they realized their first photo together had existed for so long without them even knowing about it? Now that's one to show the future kids someday. No, isn't that cute? Are there any lovebirds watching this video who believe fate brought them together in a way as amazing as this? Maybe you found out you knew each other as kids, or perhaps you photobombed your partner Selvi before you even met them. Whatever it is, I want to know about it. Comment below or get in touch with me at coincidences at beamazed.com with your amazing coincidences of any kind and I might just feature you in the next episode. Here's another charming photobomb that you wouldn't be able to recreate if you tried. Sure, this stealthy pigeon may have ruined your well thought out tour shot, but how many people can say they've snapped a photo with a bird in mid-flight? Poor dude was just passing through. Dream big. What did you want to be when you grew up? A fireman or a doctor perhaps? More importantly, did you end up achieving that dream? For most of us, reality sets in and life takes a different path. But not for this guy who found himself coming full circle in this next amazing coincidence. It all started when he visited an air show with his grandpa and uncle as an eight-year-old boy, where he sat for this photograph in the OH-58 Kiowa helicopter. On that very day, he decided he wanted to become an army pilot. And sure enough, he realized that dream by joining the Air Force as an adult. While sifting through old memories 20 years later, he stumbled upon the photograph and thought to himself how cool it was that he'd been flying a similar helicopter for the past month. 
When he next arrived at the airfield, he asked his colleagues if they ever had a Kiowa with the same tail number listed on it as the one he'd sat in as a child. To his surprise, they not only had a similar aircraft, but it was sat out on the ramp, so naturally he went to take a photo with it for old time's sake. But there was one final twist in the tail. When he arrived, he realized he'd actually been flying the exact same Kiowa for the past month that had inspired him to fly 20 years earlier. Never give up on your dreams, kids. Unexpected Guest In 2017, 22-year-old fisherman Monroe McKinney from Fairgrove, Missouri was fishing on his parents' eight-acre pond when he reeled in a bass and noticed something slightly out of the ordinary about his catch. When he went to remove his hook, he spotted something poking out of the fish's mouth which almost made him drop it back into the lake in utter shock. On further inspection, he realized that the creature lodged inside was actually a tiny mole, which is like the last thing you'd expect to see, right? How it ended up inside the fish is quite a head scratcher, although moles are often brought to the surface during flooding and have been known to be good swimmers. So maybe the poor guy just wasn't looking where he was going. Although it was too late to save the poor mole, the fish was released safely back into the lake. Now that's what I call a once in a lifetime catch. Divine Doppelganger Apparently, there's about a 1 in 135 chance that a pair of complete doppelgangers exist somewhere in the world, but the chances of you actually meeting your mirror image are even slimmer. Still, there are plenty of people in the world who have been dumbstruck after finding their uncanny resemblance in the most unexpected places. Just take a look at this guy, for example. Talk about divine inspiration. Could it be that this dude is really the second coming of Christ himself? Those are some big boots to fill. Or should I say sandals? It isn't only humans who hope to meet their doppelganger someday. Check out this dragonfly who clearly thought he'd stumbled upon his long lost twin chilling on this woman's foot. Bad luck, buddy. Then again, considering dragonflies mate using the appendages at the end of their tails, could there be something slightly freakier going on here? Bold over. They say you should never meet your idols, but Reddit user Dahlberg the King took that famous phrase to the next level when they posted about this next amazing coincidence. You see, our friend Dahlberg is a professional wood turner who happened upon this lovely handmade bowl in a vintage store one day. On closer inspection, they noticed the mark of Ray Key, the wood turner who had inspired them to take up the hobby as a kid and knew that they had to buy it. But the coincidences didn't end there. Once they got home, they still couldn't shake the feeling that this particular bowl still felt eerily familiar. After digging out the book Wood Turning and Design, which had fueled their passion as a child 31 years earlier, they landed on a page which showed the exact same bowl. The chances of this happening must truly be one in a million, so it's no surprise Dahlberg now claims the bowl is their prized possession. What did you make of these insane coincidences? Do you have any of your own mind-blowing tales to tell? Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, or you can get in touch with me at coincidences at bmaze.com, and I might even feature your story in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching, guys.